Hey everyone, so today we're going to learn how to paint a bird and uh, we have this uh, picture over here and first I'm going to dip the brush into the light blue and the green and I'm going to start from the top. All right, so I'm just going to paint the um, back uh, portion of the head uh, using my brush. So I have two brushes, this is a larger one and I have a smaller one for doing the details. So I'm just going to use different colors and I'm just going to use some of the uh, light blues uh, for the, the front part of the head. And after that I'm just going to use um, this small brush to actually help me to blend um, these two different areas, the blue area and the green area. So I'm just going to use um, the water you know, to blend all these um, different parts uh, of colors so that the colors will be able to transition um, very well with each other. So you can see that for the head right there we have this uh, brown and um, just using this brush to help me do the brown part which is just underneath the eyes. And so um, the thing is I like to use different colors so it's more interesting to use all these different colors. We have brown, we have green, we have blue and I'm just going to do the front part of the body and um, is of a darker tone so I'm just going to use some of the purple and using my brush i'm just going to make sure that we have all these dark purples in for the front part of the body just going to use my small brush also to um, do the lighter purples and combining the dark purple with uh, the brown area at the top so this will help us to have all these um, very nice transitions between all these color zones right so i'm just going to use my brush to um, do all these blues for the um, back of the of the bird so we have um, some dark blues and some light blues so the light blue here is called cerulean blue which is a uh, sky blue and I'm just gonna combine this light blue with the dark blue using a few strokes of the brush so you can see right now that the bird here has um, all these different colors we have purples we have blues and we have browns we have greens and light blue so all these different colors will make up these very interesting um, color transitions within the body of this bird so i'm just going to use my brush to make sure that we have all these um, darker parts in and the thing is uh, we want to make sure that our brush strokes are very loose are quite loose so that uh, we can have all these strokes and all these strokes can help to depict all these feathers the kind of uh, feathery kind of texture that is very um, obvious and very important in depicting the texture of the bird's body. So right now we have a little bit of that um, orange, orange brown. So brown is called uh, light brown here is burnt sienna. So I combine burnt sienna with the cadmium orange to have um, this brown um, area at the um, right hand side of the bird and I'm just going to use all these um, blues and all these um, dark blues and light blues to combine all these different areas together. Right so using the water just going to make sure that we have uh, a change of colors so using my brush I'm just going to do the front part of the bird near to the beak area so just trying to combine all these different color zones Right, so the thing is we need to have all these different colors that will make the um, bird more interesting and following the reference image right there. So we need to have um, these, um, all these color zones being combined together um, very smoothly by using the brush to kind of like make sure we have all the different parts um, that are being blended together very smoothly and very nicely and using my small brush I'm just going to make sure that we have some of <clears throat> some of these details done um, by using a few strokes um, a few flicks of the small brush that will help us to have all these feathers but the thing is we need to make sure that the first layer is dry before we do the details for the second layer which is these strokes of the small brush so using some black so I have that black um, in, the, in that container so I'm just taking some of that black and I'm just going to add some of these um, smaller strokes on the body of the bird. So just to make sure that we have 
all these different details. Right, so we need to <clears throat> make sure that we have um, all these different kinds of uh, small little um, shadows and small little feathers and that will really give us all these very very intricate details that um, can be depicted as you can see from the reference image we have all these shadow areas we have all these feathers and um, we can use that small brush to help us to do that on the second layer so using my larger brush just trying to make sure that we have a lighter blue because um, the blue that I added is a little bit dark so I'm just using my brush to kind of like lift up some of the colors of the light blue I'm just going to make sure that um, we have all these different color zones being combined and now you can see um, all these different colors on the bird's body and just trying to uh, make sure that we have all these things in place before we actually move on to the more detailed areas which is the beak and the eyes right so using my small brush i'm just going to do the darker area for the eyes so using um, this small brush i'm just going to draw the eyes and leaving out the middle part which is left white for the reflections of the of the eye and i'm just going to draw some lines um, that connects the eye to the back of the head and so we have all these um, very small and very intricate details that make up the bird so we have this um, eyes we have the beak and we have um, all these um, different details and just going to use all these lines that combined uh, the beak so we have one line in the middle for for the separation between the upper beak and the lower beak and then after drawing these lines uh, later on we are going to use the colors to color the beak right so right now we have these um, lines that are being drawn and I'm just gonna use my brush to kind of like very quickly make sure that we have the green which makes up the beak and that is how you know it's lighter color so um, it combines very well with the light blue and that is how we can have all these different light colors that are coming together and that will give us all these very very nice color transitions right so using my small brush I'm just going to make sure that we have all the details in before we move on to the lower part of the bird right so using my larger brush just trying to touch up all these different areas adding in a little bit of blue um, to the bottom part of the bird there and different concentrations of um, blue paints to make sure that we have more intense blues and less and lighter blues at the same time so all these different colors really add a lot of very very nice kind of uh, colors color variations to the bird itself so using my small brush just trying to touch up all these different areas and trying to do some of the details by using my small brush I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different feathers and details and of course using some of the white paints I'm just going to do some of the highlights okay that show the white areas so using my small brush I just dip into the white gouache and um, just without adding water just using these few strokes of the brush I'm just able able to make all these white um, spots that make up the um, white areas on the bird's body so I'm just gonna use my small brush to paint the um, the feet the claws of, of the bird so I'm just gonna use all these very sharp and very quick strokes to depict all these claws and using some of the browns and orange to help us to do these claws before we actually move on to um, the tree branch right so these claws will need to be connected to the body I'm just using my small brush to connect these claws to the body using some of the dark dark colors and um, just using some of the blues again to touch up on the body so making sure we have all these a little bit of that feathers coming out from the bottom part of the beak and just trying to make sure that we have all these different 
um, things in place. Right, so using my brush, I'm just going to do the branch. So using my larger brush, I'm just going to use a few of these strokes to depict the um, darker areas of the branch first, and then I'm just going to you know press it down and vary the thickness of my strokes. So this will give the wooden texture that is on the branch. I'm just going to use some of the water to combine the brown areas and um, leaving out some of the white space. So this white space is due to the reflection of the sunlight on the tree branch and also we have all these different textures on the branch so that will give us you know some very very interesting kind of textures and variations on the branch itself so we can see that it's not smooth and this is being depicted by the different colors different tones of brown and all the different brush strokes and the dark areas that make up this tree branch right here so that will give us all these very nice um, changes and very nice kind of uh, wooden texture that we see using just a few strokes of my brush i'm able to you know depict all these different branches and different kinds of uh, browns on the wood itself so again using my small brush just trying to depict some of the detail so using some of the, the the small brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these lines and all these dark lines on the texture of the branch and then using my small brush just trying to touch up on all these small areas different areas making sure the eyes blend properly with the rest of the head so we can see right now that the bird has come out well using um, all these different color transitions so we, the thing is we need to combine all these different colors and using the few strokes of the brush we can depict the darker areas the feathers kind of a texture and also the um, white gouache that would depict the lighter areas of the bird Right, so we are coming to an end for this lesson and you can see how I actually combined all these different um, colors and brush strokes in order to paint this bird. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video and I hope you have gained valuable insights from my tutorial. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, comment down below and share my video. Do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Do check out the links below for more information for my art and I hope to see you in the next one.